Line by line explanation of the poem, She Walks in Beauty by Lord Byron. Line 1, She Walks in Beauty, Like the Night. In this opening line, Lord Byron uses a simile to compare the woman's beauty to the serene and peaceful night. The night here is not dark or ominous but tranquil and gentle, suggesting a type of beauty that is calm and unobtrusive rather than bold or overpowering. Line 2, Of Cloudless Climes and Starry Skies. Her beauty is likened to a clear, starry sky devoid of clouds. This imagery conveys purity and perfection, with no flaws or blemishes interrupting the beauty of the night sky. It implies that her beauty is as flawless and immaculate as a pristine night. Line 3, and all that's best of dark and bright. The woman's beauty is described as a blend of the finest aspects of both darkness and light. This combination suggests a harmonious balance between contrasting elements, symbolizing a unique and sophisticated beauty that integrates both shadow and illumination. Line 4, meet in her aspect and her eyes. This line indicates that the blending of dark and bright qualities is visible in her face and eyes. Her eyes, in particular, reflect this perfect mixture of contrasts, showcasing how these elements come together beautifully in her appearance. Line 5, thus mellowed to that tender light. Her beauty is softened into a gentle, tender light. The term mellowed suggests that her beauty is not harsh or glaring but refined and subtle, creating a soothing and delicate impression. Line 6, which heaven to gaudy day denies. By contrasting her beauty with the brightness of daytime, Byron implies that her beauty is more heavenly and serene than the often overwhelming and flashy light of the day. The gaudy day represents a brightness that is considered less refined compared to the woman's delicate and ethereal beauty. Line 7, one shade the more, one ray the less. Even a small alteration in light or shade could disturb the perfect balance of her beauty. This line underscores how delicate and precise her beauty is, or even the slightest change could diminish its grace. Line 8, had half impaired the nameless grace. A minor adjustment would damage the delicate, indescribable grace she possesses. Byron emphasizes that her beauty is so exceptional that it's difficult to describe in words, labeling it as nameless due to its unique and subtle nature. Line 9, which waves in every raven tress. Her dark, raven hair contributes to her grace. The word waves suggests natural movement and liveliness in her hair, which enhances her overall beauty, adding a dynamic quality to her appearance. Line 10, or softly lightens o'er her face. Her face is softly illuminated, creating a gentle, glowing effect. This soft light contributes to her serene and peaceful appearance, further emphasizing her calm and composed demeanor. Line 11. Where thoughts serenely sweet express. The serene and sweet nature of her thoughts is reflected in her outward appearance. This connection between her inner tranquility and her external beauty highlights how her inner peace enhances her overall allure. Line 12. How pure, how dear their dwelling place. The dwelling place of her thoughts, her face, reveals the purity and endearment of her inner self. Her outward beauty reflects her inner purity, showing that her appearance is a direct manifestation of her virtuous character. Line 13, and on that cheek, and o'er that brow. Byron now focuses on specific features of her face, her cheek and brow. These features, like the rest of her appearance, reflect her gentle and calm demeanor, contributing to her overall serene beauty. Line 14, so soft, so calm, yet eloquent. Her expression is described as soft and calm, yet it conveys deep emotions and meaning. The term eloquent implies that her face communicates profound feelings without needing words, suggesting that her beauty also expresses her inner depth. Line 15, the smiles that win, the tints that glow. Her smile is charming and her skin has a healthy, glowing color. These features add to her attractiveness and reflect a vibrant, positive demeanor that enhances her beauty. Line 16, but tell of days in goodness spent. Her appearance reflects a life lived with kindness and virtue. Her beauty is a testament not only to her physical attributes but also to the goodness and moral integrity of her life experiences. Line 17, a mind at peace with all below. Her mind is calm and content with the world around her. This inner peace is reflected in her outer beauty, reinforcing the idea that her serene appearance is a result of her tranquil state of mind. Line 18, a heart whose love is innocent. Finally, Byron describes her heart as pure and innocent, filled with love. 
Her innocence and purity of heart had depth to her beauty, making her a truly admirable and enchanting figure. This line underscores the theme that true beauty emanates from inner goodness and virtue. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.